Okay, just going to do a walkthrough of the uh, homemade, not by me, single 3500Z RF deck that I um, bought at a swap locally not too long ago. Uh, very well made and we already did a video of it on the air, but just doing this video before I um, wrap it up and pack it up and do whatever I'm going to do with it. Um, so anyway, on the front. Um, basic amp you know it's only so much you can do with amp um, this one does have 10 through 80 meters in it um, um, on the front you got your tune you got your load band switch and then it has a tune input and on this one it has a separate basically input band switch so if you change your bands you got to change the input um, band selector and the um, output which is would be that band switch main power on SSB delay and standby this one does have an automatic key and relay so no foot switch um, needed and look at those big old caps that um, the builder put in that that would be I think the tune your um, plate coil or tank coil and your load um, under here um, put a fan on the pins one of the problems with uh, 3500Z's that are not forced air cooled or just fan cooled is people blow all the air on the top of the tube but it's basically the pins that overheat and cause all kind of problems you know um, a 3500Z just to light up the filaments runs on 5 volts at 15 amps per tube so you got 15 amps um, at 5 volt, what's that, uh, 50, 75, 75 watts um, per tube just cooking the tube just to light up the filament going through those um, pins. And you know, you got a hot tube too and a lot of times the pins will overheat and desolder themselves and all kind of problems with it so it's a very good idea to cool the pins of the tube so you got a little small fan here to cool the pins and another fan on top to cool the glass and your antenna switching relay I think that's the key in circuit um, filament transformer just basic stuff over in the back you know input output um, fused, a couple fuses, ground, and um, your high voltage coming in comes through there. And I guess I put all my cords in inside of there. Yeah, it looks a little messy. Anyway, I ain't gonna mess with it. Um, cooling fan. Yeah, I don't even know what's under there. But anyway, yeah, plate circuit or tank circuit from the top. And then your input tuning. And that's it. You got gears. Because actually it uses two, um, two low caps there. Very wide spacing. Ain't going to be no arcing on this guy, right? Compare that to a um, two tube heat kit SP220. Build quarterly on this big old thing. Anyway. Just a walkthrough before I put this button this thing up and put it away, and that's gonna be it for this single 3500Z um, RF deck only. Bye.